Yo, what's up? How you doing? My name is Adrian. This is Rabona TV, and today we're talking transfers, guys. Let's look at what's happened since the last video and see how we did. Marco Silva did leave Hall, but not to Palace as we have predicted. Instead, opting to go for Watford. By the way, Palace are still looking to sign another Portuguese manager in Paulo Souza. We got the Henry Onyekuru to Arsenal prediction right, although it could take an extra 1 million in order for him to get a work permit. So that one isn't quite signed, sealed, and delivered just yet. But an extra 1 million pounds seems like it's worth it to me as this 19 year old, he's still pretty damn young, led the Belgian league with 24 goals and 9 assists last season. Another player that Arsenal are linked with is Riyad Mahrez, who said in a statement that it's time for him to move away from Leicester City. Makes sense. He's still pretty pretty young. He's clearly at a level that he shouldn't be at. He should be at a higher caliber team. And as Wes Morgan said, after he had that taste of success in the Premier League, he probably wants some more. And he's entitled to that. Man City officially signed Ederson from Benfica for 40 million euros, which is a British transfer record for a goalkeeper. I actually wish him the best and hope that he does well at Man City as the short stint that we had with him, you couldn't help but fall in love with the kid. Or at least his ability. Those matches against Dortmund in the Champions League, which, although we ended up going out in the end, some of the saves that he managed to make... Also, his facial hair growth is just as bad as mine, so I take comfort in that. Also, I'd be remiss not to mention that Antoine Griezmann probably isn't going to Manchester United, if you want to believe what the papers are saying now. After yesterday's ruling from the TAS that Atletico Madrid would have their transfer ban upheld, apparently... Antoine Griezmann called Manchester United and told them that he wasn't going to be leaving Atletico, as he didn't want to leave them in the lurch with no players coming in to replace him. So this one seems off now, which is a little bit surprising considering this rumor seemed like one of the most promising of the lot. But I mean, just like the Pogba deal last summer, it was on, it was off, it was on, and then it was announced through an Adidas ad. So we may not have heard the end of this Griezmann transfer saga, as these things are soap operas, dog. But Papers are already saying that they have shifted their focus to Lukaku and Balotti, and many papers are saying that United are the favorites now to sign French striker Alexandre Lacazette. Another transfer that we didn't have the chance to speak about in the last episode because it sort of came out of nowhere was Bernardo Silva going to City. Now, with performance bonuses and everything, this could go up to around 70 million. But is it a steal? Not quite. But did they get a quality player? Absolutely, and he's only 22. And anyways, given the market these days, it's expected to pay that much for him. Now, according to journalist Mark Ogden, City are confident in signing both Kyle Walker and Alexis Sanchez. I can't really see the Alexis Sanchez transfer happening. I can't see the Kyle Walker one happening. But with Alexis, I just, I don't know. My reasoning is kind of bullshit. It's just a gut feeling. In my head, I cannot picture him playing for City or Pep again. Whereas if we went to Bayern Munich or Chelsea, it just makes more sense to me. A player that apparently is almost signed for City though is Benjamin Mendy from Monaco. And it's gonna cost them about 40 million. <sighs> Putting a team together is expensive, man. That's almost 120 million on just three players in the last week. All right, so a big one in the manager world with Thomas Tuchel finally leaving Dortmund just three days after he led them to the DFB Pokal final and they won it. The question remains, where will he end up? Now, two of the big vacancies that he was constantly being linked with, Arsenal and Barcelona, both filled up those positions. Well, Arsenal's was never vacant, they just extended that Arsene Wenger contract for another 200 years. So where's Tuchel going to go now? Where do you think? Here's a heartwarming one, an OG has returned to Ajax. After nine years away from the club with stints at Real Madrid, Milan, and Schalke, Klaasian Huntelaar has re-signed with his club Ajax where he managed to score 76 goals in 92 appearances. He'll definitely bring a great deal of seniority and experience to the team and can even take Kasper Dolberg and just tuck him under his wing and give him that good senior advice and guidance. Speaking of strikers, except for one that's maybe at the opposite end of his career, young Alvaro Morata from Real Madrid has apparently agreed to personal terms at Milan. You know, I can actually see this working out for him at Milan because right now, at this point in his career, I think what he needs the most is just minutes. And if he was to go to Milan, I'm pretty damn sure he would get those regularly. And let's say he does play well at Milan, this could go two ways for him. One, he leads this Milan renaissance funded by their new ownership group and goes on to have European success with this story club. Or two, he still gets his minutes at the club and does well with them despite Milan faltering still. And then after two to four seasons, he gets to choose where he wants to play next. He's still only 24 guys, so his career trajectory could go anywhere at this point. And just an update on Milan's transfers, apparently the Lucas Biglia deal is 
done and dusted. No word on Kaitabalde just yet, but Frank Kessier from Atalanta, who has had a pretty sick season last year, or this year, do we say last season yet for this? I don't know. I think after the Champions League is when the end of the season is, for me at least. But anyway, Frank Kessier from Atalanta signed a two-year loan deal with Milan with the option for them to buy him. Also in the Prem, Liverpool made a bid for AS Roma and Egypt international Mohamed Salah, and I can't really picture this one happening. Not because I don't believe in his ability, it's not that at all, he's actually become one of my favorite wingers to watch in the last couple of seasons. But I just can't see him moving on from Roma, really. They have such a good thing going there, and I think that the players will be determined to close that gap on Juventus after last season's performance. Sorry, this season's performance. But perhaps him staying or going will have much to do with who's appointed as their manager after he seemed to have a good relationship with Luciano Spalletti. Or at least Spalletti knew how to get the best out of him. However, if you want to believe what the papers are saying this morning, Salah has apparently agreed to personal terms with Liverpool already, so it just could be a matter of finding that number that both clubs are happy about. And finally, apparently United and Inter are oh so close to finalizing a deal for Ivan Perisic, which would cost United about 52 million euros. But if I was a United fan, I would be very excited for this transfer. Why? Well, Perisic is quality, man. Sure, Sure his numbers last season, sure his numbers this season weren't world beaters by any means, but he still managed to chip in with 11 goals and 8 assists, and his play for Croatia at the Euros last summer, whew, fuego. That's it for this one guys, any transfer rumors that you think will become transfer truths? I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, enjoy that Champions League final this weekend, it's gonna be sick. My name is Adrian, this is Rabona TV, and I'll see you next week. Peace!